You've probably already downloaded things from the internet from time to time, but with Internet Explorer 9, it's a little bit different. You're going to see uh, a few different things, so I want to go ahead and show you what to expect. Now, I've come here to the Microsoft Security Essentials web page, and I'm going to click on this big link here that says Download It Free Today. When I click there, now Microsoft has given me this little glossed over pop-up here, and uh, it says start download. You may or may not get this, depending on what you're trying to download from where, but notice if I click start download, and you probably saw it already, my little download bar has popped up down here at the bottom. And it's asking me, it also was highlighted, you probably saw it flashing there, right, yellow. Do you want to run or save? the MSE install.exe. Now, with this particular one, because it is a Microsoft product, it's giving me the options of running it or saving it. Most times, you're only going to go ahead and get a save option. I also have a little drop down here, which allows me to save or save as, where I could rename it and save it to a different place. I'm going to do the default. I'm simply going to go ahead and choose save. I'll close this window, and that was a pretty quick save. And I'm going to go ahead now and find it. I'll go and I will open up my libraries here. Opens up my Explorer, and I click here to the Downloads folder, and there it is, which I can then go ahead and install anytime I want. Now, let's do this again. Save that and click on View Downloads. And see that? Now I can see the progress as it's downloading. It's downloading another instance of this, but it's going to show me all the things that I've downloaded. See that? View and track my downloads. We'll wait just, there we go. And I'm going to close that and close that. I can also go ahead up here to my tools button. Again, it's the little sprocket or gear looking thing up here. I'm going to click that. And I can get to down, view downloads here because once that pop-up is gone, it's not available down on the bottom. But I can click here on view downloads, opens that up again. You'll see I have the run options and I can even search through my downloads this way if I have quite a few of them in there. And that's how you can go ahead and download from the Internet with IE9. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.